Welcome to Flannel School. This is Lauren. <laughs> and I'm Brian. And today we're going to lumberjack through some Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof rye. <laughs> All right, so Lauren, before we get started, we have to send a huge thank you to Shane Long at Storytime Distilling. I was on a live stream with Shane, and he was in a really good mood. and <laughs> he, In such a good mood that he did what? <laughs> he, he, he was asking, he's like, Brian, have you tried this yet? And I was like, actually, we don't even, I haven't seen it around New York State yet. This was about a month ago. I really, I still haven't seen it around New York. Um, but um, he's like, oh, I'm going to send you this. And and less than a week later, this was sitting on my front porch. So, Shane, thank you so much. Thank you, Shane. Wow. If you Amazing. are unfamiliar with Storytime Distilling, we're going to put the link in the description. Go check them out. They put out some amazing bottles. Um, I've got a few back here that hopefully we'll be able to do a little flight on soon. Um, but it, it's it's a really cool concept and a cool club, and you should definitely check it out. Okay, so Jack Daniels, single barrel, barrel proof, rye. So many letters, you know. It is a lot of letters. It's a lot, yeah. yeah. But I think we can we can do it. We We're can take teachers. This on. We deal in letters all the time. What, don't we? A B C D E? F. F. I B C D F. Yeah. No E's. <laughs> no E's for effort. Not allowed. Nope. Maybe in gym Absolutely class, just not. saying. Okay. Tell us about the bottle. Okay, so well, as our viewers maybe already know, mm -hmm. we are Jack Daniels fans. Not yes. old number seven. No. But we've been wowed by what they can put out, what they've been putting out. Right. Uh, the variety of, of items, samples, deliciousness that they've had out and about. Um, and, uh, and people think of, I think people underestimate Jack Daniels. You know, it's at, it's weird. It's at, it's at one point like a staple of bourbon mm -hmm. and whiskey. But it's also degraded to I, old number seven. Yeah, I think there's so many people who probably had rough nights in college where they drank old number seven, got sick, and were yeah. like, I'm like, never drinking it again. Screw Jack Daniel. That's yeah. how I am with Crown Royal. Like, oh, yeah. And I'm sure Crown yeah. Royal makes some good stuff. I mean, oh, yeah. I'll never know. Because you you got to give it. it another shot someday. Yeah, I was see. like that with tequila for a while, but yeah. I changed my mind. Let time, time heals all, Brian. Okay. Yeah. So let me tell you about this bottle. Okay. okay. So this was originally a limited release from 2020, mm -hmm. a year, the year of our Lord. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Remember that year, everybody? 2020. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Um, but it, so it was, it was, a, it was a limited release, but now it's a, it's a permanent release. So okay. you can find this. Well, not, not where we are, Not where we are. No. <laughs> but you're supposed to be able to find it. It's 132.3 proof, which is why I'm excited to try it today. And it was, this was bottled in March of this year. Yep. 20, March 30th, uh, March 30th. 2023. So this has to be at least four years old. Mm-hmm. And this is a rye, so it's seventy percent rye. We've got eighteen yeah. percent corn. We're looking at, and the rest is barley. Yep, and it is. It's like not a barely legal rye. It's seventy percent is a pretty high amount of yes. rye. So. and it looks. They went all in on this. Look how dark this is. Like I'm that is. You know, I'm really hoping it doesn't disappoint because I'm really excited about yeah. this. I, yeah, I'm excited about this one. And you know, we're not rye drinkers. We've on this channel, mm -hmm. we've done one rye. And that was the Redwood Empire, the Emerald Giant. And we yeah. haven't really touched it. Did we like it? I don't remember. We did. We did. That was our first ride of video. We did our toe. Yeah. yeah. That was a toe. Our first ride. Yeah. I'll link it up here. But um, All right. Let's, let's try it. A shot. Oh, my God. It, it smells, smells amazing. great. It does give you a little burn. Oh, yeah. Even, I mean, if you need to clear your nasal passages. It is the season of colds and flu. You it know is this? cold and flu season, mm -hmm. yes. Did you get your flu shot yet? No, I had to cancel because I was sick. No. <sighs> I haven't gotten mine yet either. Oh, Brian. oh my God. Oh, my God. This is really good. Holy smokes. Okay, I'm initially, I'm getting so much flavor. Did you get, like, some honey? Yes, and some, like, um, okay like wait hold on i gotta take another sip before i can articulate this it is okay so it is definitely hot i mm. think this drinks hotter than the 
single barrel barrel proof Tennessee whiskey. Oh, and okay. I'm I, getting I'm getting like a um, bonfire too. Oh, like out of this. like a smoky, smoky, like a little smoky, but mm. not like the. You know how sometimes yeah. it tastes like an artificial smoke. Mm-hmm. This is like a legitimate. I'm breathing in a campfire and it smells amazing. So the the barrel proof Tennessee whiskey I have is a couple couple points lower. This is 130.4. And the rye we have is 132.3. So it's just about two points. It drinks way hotter than this does. I, I yeah, feel. This is, this is definitely a sipper that, yeah. you, you know, maybe end of the night. Actually, or to start the night, which I have theories about this, you know. Sometimes you want to start hot. Sometimes you want to end hot. Depends on your. You I am know. getting an overwhelming honey flavor in it. And I gotta try it again. Definitely getting the rye, and like a peppery burn, like and I, I, I that's from the rye. Like you know what though for for a pepper. rye, it's not, it's not hitting me over the head with rye. It's a no. really great balance between. It's there though. It's sorry. Go ahead. No, no. I'm. I mean, just for seventy percent rye, it's not as strong as I thought it would be. So it still tastes like bourbon is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it's good. I it's so here's what I'll say. I know I'm like on my face. It looks like I'm like you're not, contemplating. Well, I don't want people to mistake. It. I don't like it. I think it is fantastic. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to really think about the flavors and probably a lot of this is because we're not seasoned rye drinkers. So we're not picking mm-hmm. everything out and all this stuff out. It's just, I know it tastes good. I'm just sitting here and I'm enjoying a lovely burn. The, the burn is nice. Feels great. There's like a black peppery burn on my tongue. There's definitely a burn in my throat. Mm-hmm. But it's and, not an ick burn. You know how you can get those where you're like, that. Yeah. Know? And I definitely. It's not that. <laughs> no. But I you want to avoid that at all costs. I'm finding it to be less sweet than the Tennessee whiskey, which. Oh, gi- it's not. It's not. I'm not getting a lot of sweetness. Not a lot out of, of sweetness. Like the Tennessee whiskey, I get like butterscotch and caramel, like mm-hmm. real heavy. This is not that. But I think what's happening with us, mm-hmm. because we have had this happen a, a few times in recent reviews of bottles, like we find something that's a little mm-hmm. bit different, and you just appreciate that. Like this is not just like the same bourbon notes that I'm getting. On every other bottle, right? It was like the weeded that well, yeah. the weeded that I really like last time. That we black were filming. Farms, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Um, yeah, no, I, this, this is definitely different. Yeah. Oh man, that is. It's really, really good. I, I feel like the bottle. quality in it. Yes. Yes. Like it was perfected. That's if how it you, feels. And if Tastes. you gave somebody this, that's a gift. Blind, and we're like. Guess who made that? There's no, no way. way in the world they no, would people, say Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels gets that bad rap, Brian. Holy people cow. People reduce it to old number seven. And you know what? I'm fine with old number seven. I know you don't like it, but like I'll drink. I, I am not fine with old number seven. I am not say no fine to old number seven. I'm actually very they, unfine with number seven. They have so seven. much more to offer. They do. And, and, and we've said this before, too. If it comes in these bottles, this little stout Oh, yeah, you bottle, see this little baby right here? You pick that buy up. Buy it. Mm-hmm. Even the single barrel select is great, but these ones with the gold labels, forget it. Mm-hmm. They are You ain't going good. wrong with these. Nope. These are fantastic. They're like little diamonds, see? Yeah. Diamond in the rough. <laughs> so I think I think that's a great one. I can't wait to like get into like sipping this a little more often and like really seeing if it – if it mellows out at all or if it changes, but man, that is a really nice start. It's complex. I think it's a great, great pour. So, yes, that's a buy all day. If you see either one of these gold label Jack Daniels single barrels, barrel pick proof, them up, pick them up. Definitely grab them for sure. All right. So, first off, we want to thank Shane again for sending us this, this bottle. This was awesome. I really appreciate it, Shane. And we'll get a bottle from a local distillery up here out to you. ASAP, but thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to try this bottle that we can't really find here. It was so good. So good. Thank you. Yeah. So if you liked our uh, video today, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and ring the bell for notifications. So you never miss another episode of Bourbon School. Cheers to Jack. I'm all out. Aww. <laughs> okay, so first thing we need to do is say thank you to Shane for sending... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.